Hey guys, I'm here bringing you another video and welcome to, I guess, a world premiere tied in with the Riot League partner program that we are going over the brand new rework to Dr. Mundo. Uh, so all I know going into this is Riot has already said a few months ago they wanted Dr. Mundo to feel a bit more like a doctor. So expect maybe more medical references than he used to be because he used to be just like this mindless hulk. And he is a doctor, so expect that moving forward. So before we get into the abilities, and as that's what we're doing, just to mention a couple things, we're going to be doing a Riot Point giveaway for a 1,000 Riot Points. If you want to enter, be a subscriber, like the video, and comment down below your opinion on this rework. Is there anything you wish to be different or whatever? Obviously, you can leave your comment and then edit it or leave your comment at the end of the video. But yeah, that's for a 1,000 Riot Points. Um, and before we get into the extra abilities, I just thought I'd show you what he looks like and three of his splash shots. These were three that jumped out to me. Uh, not every splash art has been updated. Some of the more modern skins like Frozen Prince, I guess they just didn't feel the need to. But this is Mundo's base splash art now. So as you can see, it's a bit of an updated look. Very much new artwork compared to what he used to have. And he is a doctor. So he is operating on somebody who is probably unfortunate to have Dr. Mundo as their surgeon. But there he is. Uh, then we have Corporate Mundo, which I think is fantastic, and a slight, a slight Easter egg that I found. If you look on the right, on the shelf, the little portrait of himself is his old corporate skin. I thought that was a really nice touch, and I think it's just fantastic. And then finally, uh, Toxic Mundo. So one of the cheapest skins that Mundo has, I think it's a 520 Legacy skin, honestly looks really cool. So I, I like the look of it a lot. And uh, those are the three splash shots that just stood out to me more than the others. So the way that we always do this is I am going to um, show you, the, show you the, the replay, have sound on for the first one or two plays of the video, keep it looping, and then I'll actually describe what is going on with the ability itself. So the first one we're going is, is his passive, which is called He Goes Where He Pleases. So here we go. So there we go. That is, he it goes where he pleases. And this is, as you can see, a new mechanic for Mundo. He has a canister that falls off him. So, Dr. Mundo resists the next immobilizing effect that hits him. So in this example, Jace E, that normally would knock somebody away, is being ignored. Instead, he loses current health and he drops a chemical canister nearby. Dr. Mundo can pick it up by walking over it restoring a portion of maximum health and reducing the passive's cooldown once again. Enemies who walk over the canister destroy the canister. Dr. Mundo, in, in, you know, included in his passive, Dr. Mundo also has increased health regeneration based on his maximum health. So there are similarities here, but basically, uh, yeah, he doesn't get hit by the first immobilizing effect. So just to, I did look into this before I made this video just to make sure I'm correct. Immobilizing effects are um if i actually find the right thing it's basically most forms of cc so an immobilizing effect is airborne charm flee taunt root sleep stasis stun suppression um and that's what it is so what this doesn't do is stop slows so one of we uh, mundo's old weaknesses was getting kited he can still get kited by slows but he just doesn't get cc'd by an initial cc and obviously, yeah, we don't know the cooldown of this at the moment. If he walk, if it's a 15-second uh, cooldown just off the top of my head, it might not be. He walks over the canister. Maybe that reduces the cooldown by half. Um, we don't know. But that is his passive. Goes where he pleases. Now we're going to move on over to the Q, which is Infected Bone Saw. So as you can see, it's pretty similar to the old cleaver, but with just a new name. It says, Dr. Mundo throws an infected bone saw, dealing magic damage to the first enemy hit based on their current health and slowing them. So I'm... This is basically the same ability. I don't think there's really any difference here. Um, I, I believe it's basically the same. So that is his Q. It's probably the thing you're still going to max. It's his poke. It's his way of initiating on somebody to keep on top of them 
Um, so that is the Q. Next up is the W Heart Zapper. So this one does look quite different, but it look it, it's it looks different because it's electricity versus the old fireball that he kind of had. Um, but it looks to be very similar to what it used to be also. So that kind of, I will say, seems to be the trend of this rework. It looks a bit modern, it looks a bit different, but in essence does the same thing. So Dr. Mundo electrocutes himself for a few seconds, dealing persistent magic damage to nearby enemies and storing a portion of damage he takes as grey health. At the end of the duration, Dr. Mundo deals a burst of magic damage to nearby enemies and heals his grey health if an enemy is hit by that damage. The heal is reduced if only minions or monsters are hit, by the way. But Dr. Mundo can recast Heart Zapper to end its effects early. So if you're about to die and you need to heal that grey health quickly, you can just like, oh, I'm going to stop it. Much like, so this is similar to Tam Kench. So it's it, it's got some similarities to Tam Kench that he can store a portion of health and then heal it when he needs it. Um, so that there is that. So... Kind of similar to the old W that is doing AoE damage around you, but indifferent that there's burst at the end of it and it heals Mundo. So you can see the burst there. It heals him um, also. So again, similar concept, but a different way of doing it. And more what I would say 2021 version of the old ability. And that's what, again, Riot is going for nowadays is the the, the theme of the champion is staying the same. The, the, the feeling of the champion is relatively the same. Um, they don't want to repeat kind of like with Aatrox where a lot of people were angry that, you know, Riot completely changed the identity of Aatrox. I think they've moved away from that. They just want to modernize champions. So the next one is his E, which is uh, Blunt Force Trauma. So this one does seem to be maybe the most different out of all of the abilities uh, because it is doing something similar, but also adding a brand new mechanic to Mundo also. Um, so the passive of this ability is Dr. Mundo has bonus attack damage increased based on his missing health. So the, we the, the lower health Mundo is, the more base AD he has, therefore his auto attacks, etc. are doing more actual damage. But the active, when you actually press the ability, as you can see here... Dr. Mundo slams his medical bag, because remember he's a doctor, into an enemy, dealing physical damage based on his missing health. So again, the lower he is, the more this will do. If the enemy dies, they are swatted away, dealing the ability's minimum damage to enemies they pass through. So, yeah, you can see he's last hitting a minion with the E, and therefore it flies into the enemy. So think of this being Scion. E, I believe it is. So, you know, a lot of champions in League, they borrow from each other, and this does seem to be borrowed from Scion in some respects. Um, but it, it's just kind of giving Mundo well, arguably two ranged abilities. He has his Q, and now he's got his E, but the, the weakness of his Q used to be if people hid behind minions, you can't hit them. Well, now you can actually launch a nearly dead minion into others. And worth knowing, this isn't just for minions. If you last hit a champion in a team fight with your E, that champion will then fly into the enemy champions too. So, yeah, it seems pretty good. And reminding, it's it's dealing the minimum damage that it can do. Yeah, so this this could do quite well, uh, damage wise. Um, and obviously, what what does that mean? The, so the minimum damage an, an ability will do will be like again the minimum it will do based on Mundo's health. So it will at least do X damage. It will do more damage if Mundo is low. So there you go. And now the ultimate um moving into it is sorry wrong one there there we go a maximum dosage by the way so there we go i think we all expected this type of ability i like it a lot because it does look a little bit more well, it just looks more, doesn't it? it, it he, you know, his, his clothes, I think, might rip off him as you'd expect they would. And then, yeah, it transforms back. But maximum dosage is Dr. Mundo pumps himself full of chemicals, because obviously they couldn't use another word, instantly healing a percent of his missing health. 
He then heals a portion of his maximum health over a long duration, gaining bonus movement speed and attack damage while healing. So this is very similar to his old ultimate. The only thing that I think is different is his old ultimate, he used to actually take, he take damage first and then heal. Here, it's instantly healing a percent of his missing health. So it's very similar that it's healing him, it's giving him bonus stats, movement speed, etc. But the old one used to be you used it at the beginning of combat um, because it would take 20%, I think it was, of your, your health and then it would heal you after that point. Where this seems to be you want to save it maybe later into the fight as long as they don't have anti-healing because you're not taking damage straight away, you're just healing it straight away. So again, very similar, but um, slightly different way of doing it. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Dr. Mundo rework. Honestly, I think, again, I, I myself, and if I just get rid of that so I'm back, hello. Um, I myself love reworks because there are many champs in League that I feel they, they need them. Um, they feel a bit outdated. And even though Mundo has actually been quite strong in the last few months, he is an old champion. He's very straightforward. This is a, a, a literally the way that I would say it, it's a 2021 rework. It's still Mundo. It, his abilities are reminiscent of what they used to be. His Q still throws. His W still does AoE around him. His E is still like a melee auto something. His ultimate is a regen that pumps him up. He's the same. It's just what if Mundo as a concept was released in 2021, not 29 to 2009, I think he was, this is what he would be. So I think myself, you know, I always would love if they went a bit crazier with reworks, but I know I'm not a Mundo main. I'm not reliant on the champion. So if you're a Mundo one trick, you're always a bit, probably a bit nervous of oh, my champion that I climbed with. Is he going to get ruined for me? I think Mundo players are probably going to be completely fine. I think they will still be good. And yes, there are things that are going to have to get used to. The E, for example, the passive canister thing. Um, the ultimate, the difference of not ulting straight away, maybe waiting to then heal it, have the instant heal instead. Um, there are going to be differences, but I don't think they're major differences. I think this is just a subtle kind of modern rework. So if you guys like the idea of it, throw a like down below. Comment what you think to enter the 1,000 point right point giveaway. Um... But yeah, again, successful for me, I'd say, if you know, it, it is what it is. It's a Mundo rework. You know, All I would say is, like, again, if you're going into what I personally wish they did, Dr. Mundo is obviously themed after Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It, it, you know, that's what the Hulk was also themed off um, in Marvel. People don't realize that the Hulk was themed off that older story, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I wish they kind of played off that a bit more, have a human that transforms into the monster with the ultimate or something, or have two different forms like Kane, the scientist and the monster. I think that could have been cool, but obviously they didn't go that route. Uh, but there we go. If you guys enjoyed this, do throw a like on the video. Let me know what you think down below. And uh, yeah, thanks again for Riot involving me in these kind of early releases that I get to tie in them at the same time. And uh, yeah, fantastic. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.